I am Anil Kumar sharing with you few interesting questions on tangents and normals as an application of derivatives. The question here is, at what points does the line normal to the curve x square minus 3x plus 5 at point 35 intersects the curve? So that's the question for you. So we have the point 35. If I substitute 3 here, so we get 9 minus 9 plus 5. So it is 5. So the point is on the curve. Equation of the curve is y equals to x square minus 3x plus 5. And what we are interested in finding is at what point does this line on the which is normal on the curve. So it's kind of like this. It's a parabola which is let us say kind of like this, right? So if we have a normal to the curve, I exactly don't know where the points will be, but let me just sketch like this. So in that case, if I say this is my point, one of the points, then this point is normal at a given point which is 3, 5, it does intersect somewhere else also. So the question here is, at what points does the line normal to the curve y equals to x square minus 3x plus 5 at this point 3, 5. So if this point is 3, 5, intersects the four. We have to find the other point. Correct? So that's the equation. We have verified that at 3, value of y is 5, right? 9 minus 9 is 0 plus 5. So the point is on the curve. Okay, so let's find equation of the normal. So for that, let's find slope first. So the derivative will be 2x minus 3. Derivative at x equals to 3 is 2 times 3 minus 3, which is 6 minus 3, which is 3, right? So derivative of the tangent is 3. So what is the slope of the perpendicular? It will be negative reciprocal, so minus 1 over 3. So we get this negative reciprocal slope. So we know slope of this line is minus 1 over 3. Let's find the equation of this line, which will be, since the point is 3, 5, we could write this as y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1, right? So which is y minus, y point is 5, equals to slope is minus 1 over 3, x minus 3. Cross multiply, so we get 3 times y minus 5 equals to minus x minus 3. Correct. So now we are going to solve this equation. So let's rewrite. Open the bracket, rewrite. 3y minus 15 equals to minus minus x plus 3, let us say, right? Okay. So equation of this line is, let me write in terms of y because we need to find the point of intersection also. So I'll rearrange this. So if I rearrange, I get 3y equals to minus x plus 3 plus 15. So y is equals to minus 1 over 3x and 5 plus 3 is 18, so we get 18 divided by 3, which is 6, right? So this is basically minus 1 over 3x plus 6. Now we have the equation of the line, which is normal at this point. What we need to do now is to find point of intersection. So let's find point of intersection. We'll call this point as Q. So with line and the parabola. So let me substitute. Let's call this equation as 2. This is 1. So we'll sub 2 in 1. Basically equate the y values. Correct? So let's do that. So we have minus 1 over 3x plus 6 equals to x squared minus 3x plus 5. 
Okay, bringing them all together, we have 0 equals to x squared minus 3x plus 1 over 3x plus 5 minus 6. So which is 0 equals to, that gives me minus 9 plus 1 as minus 8x, I mean minus is already there, over 3, and here we have minus 1. Now multiplying by by 3, we get 0 equals to 3x squared minus 8x minus 3. Now we can factor this equation and find the result. Product is minus 3, so we could write this as 3x squared minus 9x plus x minus 3, correct? So let me just factor this now. We'll do it here. Taking 3x common, so we have 0 equals 2. Taking 3x common, 3x, x minus 3. And here we get plus x minus 3, right? Now x minus 3 is common. We get 3x plus 1 or equals to 0. So this implies that x could have two values. 1, x could be equals to 3. The other value is x could be equals to minus 1 over 3. We already have 1.3 and 5, which we know. So the other value is for x equals to minus 1 over 3. So let's find the y value. Okay. So we can use the equation of the line itself to find the y value. So we get y equals to substituting minus 1 over 3 for x minus 1 over 3 times minus 1 over 3 plus 6 which is uh, which is plus 1 over 9 right so when you multiply both negatives becomes positive so 1 over 9 plus 6 9 times 6 is 54 so we get 54 plus 1 55 over 9 correct and therefore the second point is x value of minus 1 over 3, y value of 55 over 9, correct? So that is what we get. So the point of intersection are, at what points does the normal of the curve intersect? So the points are this, minus 1 over 3, 55 over 9. Of course, 1 is already given to us 3 and 5, correct? So that is how it could be solved. It's kind of tricky since the statement makes it kind of tricky. But I hope you understand when we say line normal to the curve, find the tangent slope, negative reciprocal, gives the slope of the normal, find equation of the normal, and then point of intersection, right? So I hope that helps. Feel free to share your comments. You may always Subscribe my videos and share them with your friends. Thank you and all the best.